In this video, whether you have a laptop, a desktop PC, Mac OS, or Windows, you can install an emulator running Android operating system. And how do you do that is with a program called Bluestacks. All right, this year I'm gonna be doing a lot of PC related content, but what's coming for sure in April, where you're gonna be able to send me your room tour or your desktop setup, whether it's for editing, gaming, work, or just bragging rights, it'll be fun. All right, now on to the purpose. So we're gonna go into it, Bluestacks. As we can see, top results, Android emulator for PC and Mac. So we're gonna click on that. And I'm gonna show you the whole run through of how I set it up so you guys get the idea of what you need to do. Now, if you always wanted Android with the Play Store being installed on your laptop, even though it's not running Android, Bluestacks is going to allow you to install that even on touchscreen laptops as well, all that stuff works. So on the front page here, we can see that says, do you want to stream for Bluestacks? There's also a streaming service where you can be one of those popular people who stream content on here through Twitch and other links. And then most played games this month, and these are all Android apps that we'll be able to download on our computer. Being Windows or Mac, doesn't matter. I have it installed here on a Mac just to see how well it would work, and it worked very well. So all we gotta do is just go to the very bottom, say ready to play, just click on download Bluestacks. And it's downloading right there for me automatically. We are now downloading Bluestacks. It's a pretty big file, uh, 320 megabytes. So depending on your speeds, who knows how long it's gonna take, but it's gonna take me around a minute to download that. Okay, once it's done, you can click on it and it'll open. I'm gonna press run. It's extracting Bluestacks right now. Takes my PC around 45 seconds. I'm going to allow Press yes, welcome to Bluestacks. We're going to accept that. Choose where you want to store it. You do not have to do any of this. I just like to choose where I want to save it at. All you have to do is just press next and it would work just fine. Bluestacks runs best with the following enabled app store access, application communications. Yep, we're gonna install it. And Bluestacks is now being carried right here. It's on the desktop. Installation complete, start Bluestacks. We're gonna press finish, let's go back out. Join the Bluestacks community. You can join all that stuff. Uh, I do sign in. We're gonna allow Bluestacks. I'm gonna change my name here for the Bluestacks profile. You can stream through Bluestacks TV. You can see Facebook Live and Twitch. You can do all that. You can see how many people are, are streaming. You can stream yourself. So whatever your PC sees, you can stream it over, which is nice. That's an addition, but I don't need that. Help find your location. You can either agree or disagree. I'm just gonna disagree. Choose, it's like you're setting up your Android device here. Got Google. Now you can read through all this. I uncheck a, cube, a couple of them. I just leave this on. I go next. Now it's detecting as a tablet, but it's okay. It's just an emulator. You don't need to worry about it. Put your name in there, go next, and there we go. Now this is the whole entire Android emulator happening onto the screen of my PC. You can do this on Mac, but I'm doing it on Windows. Basically the same setup for Mac. Watch videos, there's chat, there's take a screenshot, set locations, there's APK installs, copy files from Windows. This is literally Android 5.1, I believe. Like your normal home screen, click on that. These are all your applications. Go into your settings. You can add more accounts. You can see there's also tabs here. You can click on that. And it goes back to your home screen. Click on the Play Store and you get the full Play Store here. So we can do Clash Royale, of course. That's my favorite game that I played for over a year. Clash Royale has been installed. Since this is a PC, you could arrange that. Oh, there we go. I'm going to sign into my Google Play. Yes, level. 10, so I'm gonna sign in there. Here we go. This is my Clash Royale account. Very cool. Scroll over to the right, scroll to the right. And that's how I have it set up. And you get all that incredible quality and it's super smooth. Yeah, I'm gonna open some stuff up here. All right, you guys are gonna about witness how I play my cards here. Uh, usually I, I just totally messed up. Well, let's set that there. Oh, that worked. Oh no, that didn't work. Uh oh. Hurry, 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 hurry. My deck is so expensive. Stop it! Oh no. Horrible. So what's nice about playing this on your PC is that you can record if you have Shadow Play like Nvidia. That way you could get a feel. A recording your gameplay to upload if your Android screen or your phone isn't strong enough to do it, you have a PC to work with that. Oh no. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry, 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 hurry. Come on, 
Go, go, go. Making a comeback. Making a comeback. Never mind. Take it out. Take it out. Woo. Come on. Let's not let him get that. Go, 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 go. Get it out. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. Oof. Making a comeback. All right. <laughs> so this is Clash Royale tab, Play Store, and back to your home screen, and there's the application. And of course, you can set your own widgets on here. You can leave this open and still going through your normal stuff, and then you have Android. Now, if you download APKs on your PC, you can click on this little folder. But what I like to do, install Google Drive here. Press open, APK files. I'm gonna install this, Cartoon HD APK. We're going to install it. And here we have it. Now you connect your PC to your TV. Just click on this. If we can do 720p, 1080p, we can do play. And now we can watch movies that aren't available yet. Let's see The Great Wall, 720p, press play. You can download them if you want. I never download, I just stream. Not all of them are high quality. So these are movies. Click on TV shows. Supergirl, I like this show. There you go, and you could also full screen it. Now another one that I really like, we're gonna search for Super NES Emulator. I have the paid version here. We're going to update it. Press open. Would you like to scan the card for no, 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 no. So it's gonna find all the games that I have, which I did not import yet, but it's in my Google Drive. So if I go Nintendo ROMs, Nintendo 64 ROMs, so we can go SNES, Super Mario. But what I'm gonna do, I wanna save it, download it. So now we have it onto the emulator here. Now you can search for games and you can search for certain games that you want but if you have them saved already then you won't have to go through this thing so we're going to click on the sd here would you like to scan for games yes we're going to press ok and there we go there is the super mario clicking on that the mario game is going to start press start 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 click 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 as you can see the controls are on the screen already and if you have a controller as you can see here i connected a controller so it detected it here is the controller i'm using the xbox and if it's not being detected then you want to go into the menu settings go to settings we're going to go to controller one you can see that what kind of key mapping you can choose what you want to do it through there touch controls we're going to turn that off and let's go back Of course you can change it up, make it your very own. But that is just some of the things you can do on here. So you can see it's very easy to use. Drag this down, get to your settings. So obviously you're gonna be able to download all the apps and games that you can on your phone, on your PC, and play with them with controls and key mappings and keyboards on a big screen with no lag, super responsive. Of course remember you got all the tools here that you can mess around with. You could hold down, change the wallpaper, set it and forget it and there you guys have it. i just showed you the basics that you can install this onto your pc i have had no problems with it and you don't need a high powered pc to run this either so if you have a mac or a pc a laptop with touch controls you're gonna enjoy it a lot better this is pretty much the easiest way to get those apps and games running on your pcs this is not a sponsored video i'm just gonna start uploading content like this because i already do this without video recording everything so i might as well because it's gonna help someone especially when i run into somebody who tells me can you do this and it gives me ideas of what content i could upload so every time i talk to somebody something cool and new comes up that gives me ideas to showcase here on my channel i hope you guys enjoyed it you're gonna love it definitely go try it out for yourself. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Later. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go away.